Yo, yo, it's Momo coming to you with another video. It's been a while since I've made a video, so let's get straight into it. Today we're going to show you two attack strategies. One is the new El Primo cards. I uh, teamed it up with some Valkyries and some Wizards. It's absolutely OP. I don't even use my Queen as it's down for upgrade right now, but we'll just show you how OP this is. Here we go. So we'll just go straight into this base. So as you can see, it's a pretty well spread out base. You know, very hard to get into the town hall. Pretty good um, town hall 9.5 right now. So it's pretty good, uh, well made base. As you can see, I start off the raid with just like, you know, uh, funnel, f try to get the funnel in. But, you know, the, obviously there were some defenses on the outside of the base here so the El Primo cards do go just for the defenses uh, as you can see I, I come down with my clan castle first just to put my pecker down to start with, with some tanking so I can check in those El Primo cards but yeah after the El Primo cards go in it's just pretty much keep the wizards behind it and throw in your valkyries whenever you think they'll go s into the center of the base so with the funnel you're kind of just funneling it in for your pekka and your valkyries you kind of just let the el primo cards you know go for the defenses because that's what they will do so they don't you don't need to really worry about funneling them unless it's like a base like this where there is some defenses on the outside but it, even so you know they're pretty pretty strong cards they have like two and a half thousand hit points or something so they do last much longer than giants not as long as peckers obviously but they're still pretty strong uh if you can keep them alive for as long as possible they they go through walls really really quickly and you'll see that happen when they target a wall so you just go half the speed here so as you can see right here one and two two hits from the El primo card right there and the wall went down and that's a level 10 wall guy so that's that's just showing how OP with these cards are when it comes to just bursting through the walls and stuff like that, getting through. You can see even with the defenses, they're pretty strong at taking down defenses. Like here, we've got the uh, giant going on, but then when the Primo cards come in, you can see one, two hits, and with pretty much three quarters of the Arch Tower's health has gone down. But yeah, so now, you, as you can see, the rest of the base is being uh, taken over now. We're still keeping some wizards for, you know, some cleaning up. Just so in case we get some like struggling balls like this dark that don't mind to stay up for too long. But yeah, we keep uh, keep an eye on where you've got the other cards, so we've already used up all the spells, keeping uh, as many Primo cards as we can because they're really good at just bursting through walls. And as you can see, we've got one, two that just flung off, so we've got one left. Still got four or five exactly there, level five, which is really strong. Got a level five Pekka. And the only only part left of the base is this all these defenses here but we'll just show you how yeah how it just keeps going and you know at normal speed what it looks like and how overpowering the, this troop combination is because you know you've just got such strong troops you've got a level five valkyrie which takes forever to go down and you know they go through objects pretty quickly as well you've got a, a level five pico which is really strong you know it takes down Buildings really fast, so you've got level 6 wizards, you know, with their splash damage, they, they just take down things too quickly. you got the El Primo card, you know, that bursts through walls really fast, so it's a really, like, OP combination, because, yeah, like, now even with, like, there's 6 defenses here, even with all those defenses, you know, you've got 2 Valks, 1 level 5 Pekka, 1 Giant that's about to die anyway. As you can see, those level 6 wizards, as long as they're being sheltered by something with a lot of hit points, they can just, you know, come in with a couple of shots, take down the, the unnecessary buildings. And, you know, you can see that Pekka just taking all the damage, you know, just absolutely being the best tank for, for these wizards. And, yeah, and this, this base is pretty much all done. And there's nothing left besides just one tester. Puts up a really good fight, but really low health. And, you know, those level 6 wizards, they're just too good as well. So there you have it, guys. That's the El Primo, Valkyrie, and Wizard. Uh, troop combination with a pekka in your clan castle uh, you, you can bring three heal spells with two rage and two freeze you can bring poison for the clan for like war attacks you know when you go up against clan castle troops but even so you know i, I showed you even with free spells you can still freeze the clan castle troops and you know if you've got the wizards right behind your primo cards or even just your valkyries or whatever they'll come and 
clean up the CIC troops really quickly. Uh, so let's get into another attack, guys. So that was the El Primo one. Uh, we can show you that one again, just on a different base. Uh, this one will be a pretty good one because, you know, you can just see the full ferocity of it. Takes down the base in less than, you know, a minute and a half, as you can see, the countdown going down. So again, create a funnel, put down the P.E.K.K.A. Uh, and the Giants for some tanking. Once the funnel's been semi created, you know, you drop your El Primo cards with your back right straight behind them. Like, you know, the El Primo cards, they just went through that those walls, like you don't even bring wall breakers because they just go through walls as if they were wall breakers because that's their special effect I guess and, and as you can see, you know, Crank, crank, um, crank Castle troops being absolutely dominated by those wizards their splash, splash, splash effect um, is really helpful with putting that Crank Castle troops but as you can see, uh, just keeping those El Primo cards alive all of them, none of them have died yet, you know the first one's about to die over here, but you know just keeping those El Primo cards alive under rage even sometimes uh, with the Valkyries close behind them, you know, they, they can just absolutely over dominate bases like, you know, even over here there's just two El Primo cards but these two defenses can't do anything because they just have so much hit points and that's the burst cannon as well so you know they're pretty good at taking down cards quickly because of their burst effect but as you can see you know King's ability hasn't even been popped you know Valkyries are all over the a swarm of wizards Peck is still alive, you know, and you got all, all the Primo cards, so pretty much we only lost like a, not even a handful of cards. Just shows you how overpowering this this uh, troop composition can be, and it's really, really effective in Town Hall 9.5, Town Hall 10. And I've seen it also being used in Town Hall 11, but just not the same uh, composition as mine. They've been using it with Peckers and Balloons and stuff like that. But now we're going to get into the other attack strategy that I wanted to show you guys. It's the Lava Hound Loon with the Bat Spell. It is absolutely overpowering and we're just going to sh show it here. Um, yeah, so we, we have this base here. This is um, a really good anti-air base. You can see all of the air defenses so far apart from each other. The we got the wind blowers over here. What are these called again? Yeah, they're just absolutely right in the center of the base. So you can clearly tell they're covering both uh, air defenses as well so it's going to be very hard to keep you know a, a navigation to keep those balloons coming straight for them because obviously they'll be pushed away and you got you know your, your king and queen here both in a good position queen queen has a lot of stuff around it to you know take down those balloons which is really good so this is a really good air uh, uh, anti three star air base uh, but we're just going to show you how overpowering bat spell can be uh, so the the way i do it is i try and take down two air defenses then i bring in my kill squad which is my king and queen followed by a couple of wizards and a baby dragon for funneling but it's mainly just to, uh, just to like you know clean up around uh, the air defenses that i will be taking down so with the bat spells i'll be taking down this one and this one here and we're just going to pretty much take, try and take care of this whole top half of the base coming in from 12 o'clock and making sure we just, you know, get rid of as much as possible so we don't have to worry about, you know, cleaning up. Uh, as you can see, 2 minutes 27 seconds, this raid does um, does e uh, easily stay in time with, you know, uh, on so some bases you can even take it down in a minute and a half because this, that bat spell is just so overpowering. Uh, so those bases would be when the, you know, like the air, air defenses are closer together. You can take down those air defenses plus like an uh, expo or an inferno tower much faster. So let's get straight into this uh, raid, guys, now. Um, you can also bring a free spell. I bring this free spell just because... Uh, it's good at you know freezing the defenses as well as you know the queen and whatever. But you can also bring uh, poison spell if, it, if there's really heavy clan castle troops. Uh, but yeah, so we're trying to avoid the clan castle at, at the same time because uh, we just want to like make sure that top half is cleared. And by the time you know our lava hound and stuff takes uh, into play, we want those clan castles to target our uh, lava hound so they can pop. But also you know they they just take forever to take down so that we. Complete waste of time for those playing cards. It's just targeted in other hands. But as you can see here, guys, top half of the base is pretty much all covered and cleared. So now we just have all of this space on the bottom for our uh, loons and to come in. There's no more spells besides one raid spell left. Um, 
you can use that raid spell on your bats or in the beginning of the raid to help clear out the air defenses too faster. Or you can save it for later. Like me, I put it here because I knew that hand was about to pop, so that the little um, lava cups can take down the CC. But as you can see, um, you know, we've still got two lava hands that are coming up. You know, the third one is coming in the final one. We have that free spell over here. I missed the Tesla. Should have got the Tesla, but you know. There's no problem whatsoever because you know most of these defenses have just been taken away from all other hounds just tanking beautifully. You know, there's no point in uh, trying to like save your uh, spells for your balloon because you know even, even up towards them there's you know they're all clumped up in one space but there's eight balloons there, there's plenty of balloons to take up the the rest of the base. You still got two unpopped lava hounds, which means you know there you go. Both eggs both have target those lava hounds and you know there's nothing else to defend the base besides those two expos and they're both focused on that one lava hand which is as you can see his health is not going down any time soon um those those you know wind rolls are still pretty annoying but now that there's nothing to block it away there you go the base is you know pretty much done even the rest of the cc has come out now but too many lava, uh, lava hand puppies to just clear them off uh, even if they take down all your wizards you know by this time there's nothing else to defend the base so you use to make, hope to make sure that you know you've got all your lava hounds popped uh we has had one more pop unpopped but you can see how many lava pups there are and how many balloons are still left completely overpowering this base as well but yeah that's the armor comp composition uh for this one you do need to have both heroes i, I recommend having both heroes because it does help uh clearing the base the other one i don't think you need both heroes you might not even need the heroes at all just because you know you you don't rely on the heroes but in this one you kind of do because you want to like help a bit of the cleanup or you know maybe take down the queen or maybe maybe just take down some defenses that are, might be annoying uh, but yeah bring four lava hounds one in your cl castle obviously bring 20 balloons uh you can do it with 18 and bring another baby dragon for a funnel or a cleanup but you know a handful of um wizards just about Anywhere between five and seven wizards you use plenty for, you know, just to take care of the CC maybe or just to like help clean up. And then, yeah, bring the rest with other minions. My minions are really weak on this account, um, on King of the Castle account. So, you know, I bring some goblins with it as well. But as you can see, guys, completely overpowered this base and just completely um, wrecks the, uh, any anti-air bases as well. Just because those bat spells are so handy at taking down... The, um, the air defense we'll show you another one here so you have that uh, another base here you know it's not too bad um, the air, see how when you put the air base uh, the air defense is closer together um, that's when you can just like you know drop all your bat spells in one spot and then put a rage on top of it watch how quickly these there's about 50 bats there now watch how quickly these bats take down the the surrounding air defenses there you go, that's one down, that's, and that's the second one down. Let's see how the bats also target defenses mainly. Uh, um, so yeah, they, they only target defenses, they don't go for buildings. So as you can see, you know, the Arch Queen platform, the, uh, what's it called, the Town Hall, it's all there. All of these uh, ba uh, destroyed buildings, they're all just... Um, defensive buildings in, and this arch tower just managed to survive as well but yeah once you've got the two of the air defenses down that's pretty much it that's all you need to focus on uh after that what you want to do is maybe clean up one half of the uh, one half of the base so you can keep your uh, lava hand and balloons going into like a one one rotation cycle or like or just in one direction pretty much so like if i was to clean clean out these these pesky defenses here maybe this one here then you know i can drop drop my lava hand from top side or uh, coming on from two o'clock and you know you know just drop the balloons uh, surgically as you know the lava hands start taking all the damage and then before you know it, it the, there's nothing to defend against those balloons and the base is pretty much done so let's see how we, we go in so yeah we got king coming in from that top he has nothing Baby dragon coming from the bottom, so like I said, guys, just clean up one half the base, and then after that, you can e really control your lava hand and balloon. Just deploy them surgically, obviously, get the lava hand down first, take the damage, and then once those defenses are distracted, put it in the balloon, just clean it up really quickly. Uh, you know, 
Uh, for, this, uh, for this raid, you don't even probably need to have the max balloons. A uh, lot of fire balloons can really work, but you have to be very really careful because, you know, so it, it's all a matter of fact that this year you're going to have to help the defenses you know, keep them distracted. Because, you know, once you have nothing to distract the balloons, they just two drops and you know, they're dead. Um, usually, you know, here we have like a bit of a pair of pipes coming up. By this time, I'm not really worried because 50 seconds left in the lane. There's no defense in the side of one over this one arch tower, and then one over tower can do much. Uh, so, and we, we have a lot of points. The lane is there, one with the top ladder here. Uh, you know, we get all the traps coming up, but as soon as, you know, as, soon as that baby dragon goes down, which we will get uh, pretty soon once that ladder hand pops. Uh, so, you know, we just, whatever uh, wizard we were holding back, just drop it to the now. Uh, I'm just putting them over here near the top because I don't want that baby to go down. And once that baby dragon goes down, we can just swing down and go back into the defender base. Here is down, you know, so many lava pups still on the cleanup down the blow as well. We've got the ones here as well. And yeah, you can clearly see how overpowering this raid can be as well when you, when you know exactly how to do the raid, obviously. So you bring in, it has to be nine bets. Bat spells, it just that's how I've seen it done. Um, for sure, it will work if you use seven and bring another rage, but uh, tend to just you know go with nine bat spells, one rage. As you can see in this example, I, I used the rage on the uh, bat spells, and on the other raid, I didn't. It's just the way you got to use it, you just have to make sure two of those air defenses go down. Uh, when you do going up against Town Hall tens, you use the uh, raid spell definitely on the bat spell, so you can take down maybe an inferno as well. See if we have any of those. Okay, let's see this one. Yep, so same thing. This is a pretty weak base. Uh, air defenses are not bad. Town Hall 9.5. But look, as you can see, same thing. Raid spell goes on top of the bat spell, takes down all of these air defenses plus the explode plus the air sweeper. So. <laughs> This time, you know, the bat spells is done, has already done all the work because the defenses uh, were too weak of a level. And you can even see here there's like 50 bats, uh, or not, maybe not 50, but like a dozen bats here. But, you know, the air sweeper does blow them away and those Teslas and Expos do get them down. But look at all these defenses that have just already gone down. There's like nothing to stop my king and queen to just come in, finish this half and take the rest of the base down. You know? Yeah, those bats still do a lot of damage. Um, hopefully we're going now. Let's just speed up the game a bit because we're going to do this once again going to the style. So as you can see, you know, just the usual, you bring it in from one side, clear out half the base from one side, and then that just makes your, you know, you know, turn into your lava. You know, just to turn it in. As you can see, the balloons are not going to have the lava. You can just turn it into your lava. You can just turn it into your lava. Yeah, it's just, it's just a really good way to do it. Once you know how you do it, so you can't get rid of the rules. And you just do it really well from the other direction of the field and the ladder. And you can sure you get half of this kind of thing at this point. And yeah, we still have four of the other ones. So I'll just put it in there just to like clean up right in the middle. But yeah, look how early panel is going to build up. I don't know if I'm going to be in here. We've got so many really hard points. We've got two impact lava hands, and we two of them. So it's going to be very nice, that's three stars. But yeah, there you have it guys, so that was just two examples of uh, two recent um, updates from the Clash of Clans. Uh, we have our Primo cards, which are completely OP, uh, plus the new Bat Spells, which are really nice and really fun to use. So these... These, you know, bat count, 10, 10 per spell, you bring 9 spells, you know, that's 90 bats that come up. So that's pretty much like game over for any sort of defensive unit there. Um, even though, you know, they're, they're meant to be like a, uh, just a temporary card, I'm, I'm not sure if they've 
they've completely introduced it or if it's just going to be like the El Primo card, who knows, but I'm pretty sure the bat spells are going to be staying around for a long time and the El Primo cards, I hope, I hope they stay because these cards are so nice to use, especially in the raids because you saw it being used in less than two minutes bases were going down which is completely nice um but yeah you know use it at town hall 9 town hall 9.5 or town hall 10 uh i don't have any uh, raids to show you at this uh, moment but um yeah i've seen these troop compositions being used on town hall 10s and town hall 11s they can take down infernos and uh, eagle artilleries pretty easily with both of them you know the air defenses plus uh, the air raid and the ground raid so um, but that's all for today guys you know i hope you guys enjoyed this video it's been a while since i've made any videos so i'm a little bit shaky on the how i speak and but i hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll sh we should be making some more soon as well see you again and keep on clashing